This video is about why The Strange Dead doesn't have a sequel. Beyond that, it might also interest artists, folks, or just the morbid. Uh, but I will make another video talking about what would have happened to wrap up The Strange Dead series. I've sometimes had a habit of taking things for granted. And though I try not to, there is one thing which I've always with absolute confidence taken for granted. And that was my ability and my drive to write. Killing the Muse takes a lot. For me, it was being at a point in my life when I was just floating along. I told myself I was still living, still present, so long as I had the writing. And maybe that was a little too much pressure from zeroing in on just that one thing. Uh, combine that with good old-fashioned cynicism, and it's a recipe for failure. Around 2015, the horror market wasn't exactly booming, and uh, I'd fallen off the radar a bit, so I decided, for the first time, that I needed to write something in order to make some money and stay relevant. Nothing I've written before nor since has been written for any reason other than wanting to write it and share it. With The Strange Dead, however, I think I betrayed a core value. Uh, though I am proud of the story and I love the characters and the weird subcultures, I couldn't have written it at all otherwise. I was just not motivated by the right things. The kind of validation I was after was frankly bullshit. And then the book came out and it didn't hit. Severed Press did a fine job with The Strange Dead and there are innumerable reasons why a book doesn't perform. Some of them are simply beyond one's control. Well, even knowing that, the whole affair left me feeling empty. Um, what came from that soon proved to be more than just a typical writer's block. I began working on the sequel, The Forever Dead. The Forever Dead would have had to have been self-published and slogged through about half the story and fits and starts. It, just, it didn't feel good. It felt tainted and pointless. Everybody got that? A few years into this, 2019, I returned to a practice I should have never stopped, therapy. Uh, I'd been out for about five years. When I got back in, what we worked out in our sessions was that A, I was not going to finish The Forever Dead, and B, I wasn't going to write anything, period, until I accepted that. And he was right. It took quite a while to get my head around it, but he was right. What was tougher than accepting it was telling myself that it was actually okay. That I had started a story, put it out there with the support of a company, sold it, and marketed it to readers, and then bailed before finishing. Uh, I felt, feel, I feel like I let people down even if not that many actually read uh, The Strange Dead. Uh, uh, well, it is what it is. And that's the first step. Um, right now, uh, the present is about breaking the habits that had emerged or worsened during that period that are kind of keeping me from getting back into uh, my groove. We're getting there. A couple months ago, I woke up at uh, four in the morning with this incredible urge to write, something that I had not felt in so long, something I missed, something I will absolutely never take for granted again. And, and it's happened since then. It's been, it's been sporadic, but it's happening. It's something I need to learn to kind of nurture again. But, um, the muse is back. 